Thank you very much, guys. Zane, another great night of fights. I won't belabor the point. Let's talk about who's going into the, uh, to the UFC. Well, let's start from the beginning. Let's start with Rodrigo. He made quick work out of it tonight. <clears throat> you know, didn't get to see a lot of stuff with him. Didn't get to see him stand up a lot. And his, once it went to the ground, he's 7-0 and now. And, uh, you know, his sub was beautiful. It was, it was perfect. And we're, and you said it earlier, and it's so true, we're in such bad need of heavyweights that uh, we're taking them. And uh, I think we already got a fight lined up for him in August. Wow. Rodrigo Nascimento with the contract and a fight. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. All right, on to the next one. So, Rodriguez versus Farrington. Um, you know, he fought a tall, rangy, awkward guy who is... An absolute athlete. I mean, the, kid, the kid's an athlete. Um, I wasn't blown away by the performance tonight. He's 9-1. I, I, I think that this guy is, is talented. I, I think he's a good fighter. He came out to fight tonight, but just didn't give me that, didn't give me that, that thing I was looking for tonight. But, you know, the kid's 9-1, and, and I say this all the time, when you don't get picked up on this show, everybody just saw you. You're 9-1. and one. You're a talented guy. It's going to work out for this kid one way or another. Just not tonight. Move on to the, uh, to the girls' fight. Where do I begin with this one? So let me begin by being honest. So when they first walked out and they started to square off, you know, you got this little girl that, you know, looks like you want to young Jay check. You know, her stance, the way she stands, everything else, and she starts lighting Tracy Cortez up, and I'm like, oh God, this, she's gonna walk over this girl. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a really one-sided fight. I was right, but with the wrong person. It was a one-sided fight the other way. Then, her story is, I mean, she almost made me cry like three or four times tonight. Um, she's got a ton of heart, her ground, her stand-up, she only knows one thing, move forward. Um, I, I just, I can't say enough good things about her. Tracy, come on over here, you're in. Tracy Cortez, congrats. <clears throat> I mean, this, this one isn't a secret. I pretty, much, I pretty much made the decision right there. But let me start by saying this, I say it all the time, it takes two to make a fight. And I think that Steve Wynn is a very talented guy. And I think that you're going to see and hear from this kid again. Um, uh, but Cruz, first of all, Cruz just looks mean. When you look at Cruz, Cruz looks mean. He looks pissed up. And then he comes back here and he's the nicest guy in the world. But uh, when he's in that octagon, he looks mean. He fights mean. He's nasty. He moves forward. He tries to finish you. And he's exactly what I'm looking for. So... No, no secrets. I showed my hand early. He's in. Alon Cruz, congrats. So, I, the first round of this fight, um, I was like, when these two start engaging, really start engaging, this is going to be a fight. And this kid is big, strong, well-rounded. Now he's 5-0, and oh, and Stipe Miocic already called me and said he better get into the UFC. So I'm not saying no to Stipe. Congratulations, Congratulations Alexa Cameron. Dana, uh, after that Alon Cruz fight, I mean, we saw you kind of make the little signature in the air. It's the first time we've seen you do that. You know, what, what was going through your mind at that point? Well, it, I, I, I love the fight stylistically. First of all, Steve Wynn only moves forward. That, this kid only knows forward you know, kept throwing punches. I think the kid is super talented. And like I said, it takes two to make a great fight. Cruz looked unbelievable, kept his composure, was picking him apart when he could. And when he landed that flying knee, that, that was it, man. I, I couldn't even keep a poker face. That was it. I'm in. Well, we saw you take the phone call immediately after the fight. We knew it had to be somewhat important if you're answering the call at that point. What did Stipe say to you? Yeah, no, Stipe said, trust me when I tell you this kid is the future. He's unbelievable. I work with him every day. And uh, you just saw a glimpse of what this kid is capable of doing. So... That's so so much of this show is not just about the fighters. It's about their families. It's about their stories. I know this show is so near and dear to you. I mean, it has your name on it. Do, does that part of it make you love this show even more? The stories, the families, everything that goes into it. Yeah, I mean, everybody that's here on every Tuesday night has a story and, and uh, you know, is here to... to 
try to make their dreams happen, and, and, and it's so hard for me to say no to anybody. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody gives everything they've got when they come here. Like I said, I could do this every Tuesday for the rest of my life. I love it. I love this show. I love the, the, the talent and, the, and the, the matchmaking on this show is unbelievable. So, um, yes, I love Tuesday nights. <laughs> we do, too. Dana, thank you so much for taking a second. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, Rodrigo, nice to meet you. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my goodness. What a moment for you. I mean, as you're sitting there talking, listening to Dana talk about these, these fights, these winners, seeing the big finishes that happen later in the card, or in the card, I should say, what's going through your mind? É, foi uma grande luta, o Dana White falou sobre a sua finalização, que dia incrível para você, que dia maravilhoso. É, o que você tem a dizer sobre a luta, como que foi, é, como você está se sentindo agora nesse momento? Eu estou me sentindo inacreditável. O que eu tenho para dizer é que eu sou um peso pesado diferente. Eu sou um peso pesado que vem, que vem de uma base diferente, que vem do jiu-jitsu. E pode ter certeza que toda vez eu vou representar. Uh, Rodrigo says, uh, thank you for Dana. Thank you for everybody here for the UFC. It's a great opportunity for Rodrigo. So, definitely, Rodrigo, Rodrigo is a heavyweight division. is a different guy, you know. Have skills in jiu-jitsu. And Rodrigo showed that the, in the UFC. Your skills in the... In Jiu Jitsu skills. That. Dana said he already has a fight lined up for you. Did you know anything about that yet? And will you be uh, will you be ready that soon? Uh, ela disse que o, você tinha um grande um grande oponente pela frente e você acabou com a luta rápido. E o Dana White falou isso. O que, que você acha? O que, que você tem a dizer sobre isso que aconteceu? Eu, eu vi os vídeos dele várias vezes, né, do, do Martinek e vi que ele não tinha tanta especialidade no chão, que ele era um bom trocador, que ele era um cara forte mas que ele não, não, não tinha tanto jiu-jitsu e eu explorei essa parte, que é a minha parte boa. Rodrigo, eu assisti o fight uh, for your opponent e é como like assistir todo o tempo. E quando o Rodrigo assistiu o fight, eu sei que eu tenho uma grande oportunidade para submissão do fight no chão. Essa é a minha parte especial. Eu estou treinando jiu-jitsu por um longo tempo e eu tenho os melhores parceiros comigo e o time e o time. E eu uso o meu jiu-jitsu para ganhar o fight. Congratulations, welcome to the UFC. I'm sure we'll see, be seeing you fighting soon. Thank you very much. Tracy Cortez, come on back. <laughs> Tracy, what a moment. Oh my gosh, welcome to the UFC. Uh, as Dana's sitting there talking about you, your story, the fight, what's going through your mind? I'm just grateful to be here. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, this is, you know, this is just the beginning. I'm in, now I gotta work to stay in, yep. you know? I wanna see that, I wanna see that tattoo. Show that tattoo. That's my big brother. That's my big brother. Uh, he gets confused by other people all the time, but Special. And he's got that shirt on. He does have this shirt on. Um, this was actually, I don't know if you guys know, but this was his, uh, his shirt before he even got into fighting, and that was his hat. Chemo bracelet. It's just it's a meaningful tattoo to me. So. How crazy is it? He's wearing that shirt, but it's you. You're in the UFC now. Unbelievable. What are you thinking right now? I'm lost. I have no words. I'm just happy, grateful. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a great fight and welcome to the UFC. Thank you. Go enjoy celebrating. Oh, Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. All right, Alon Cruz, come on back. Man, what a night. Congratulations, man. I mean, you, you had to be the one sitting back there like, oh, I'm pretty sure I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this. But how good did it feel to hear Dana say it for sure? Man, uh, I was pretty sure when I looked at him, I went like this and he was like, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, all right, well, we're definitely in for sure. So, but to hear him say it, you know, officially, you know, announced we want this kid and he was happy. And I don't know why he said I have a mean face. I'm, I smile all the time, but, you know, I'm happy. Intense, intense. Intense, I guess, in the cage only. <laughs> have you had a chance to talk to your mom yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I don't even have my phone. I'm kind of dreading it, though, because all the notifications and whatnot. But, you know, once I get my phone, I'll call her and then I'll call my girlfriend. And then well, I'm sure she's watching right now. Yes. What do you want to say to her? Uh, Mom, I love you, and we did it, and, you know, thank you for everything you've done for me, you know, all the sacrifice and everything, uh, you already know. I know you have a, a girlfriend of 10 years as well. I know she's been a big part of the journey. What would you like to say to her? Uh, Karen, I love you, and, you know, I know you deal with me every day, you know, bullshitting and, you know, being a being a bitch I guess you know when I'm cutting weight or doing whatever. it happens but uh you know I'll, I'll be back home and you know 
hug, hug you and all the dogs and you know <laughs> alan congratulations welcome to the ufc thank you thank Appreciate you so it. much all right alexa Man, a lot of context. What a night! What a night! Did you did you know that Stipe called Dana right after your fight? No idea. I appreciate it though, man. <laughs> Thank you. You for sure had your back. I mean, what a moment! I, I, when you landed that flying knee, you saw Alon get in with a flying knee. Were you pretty sure you'd be able to get that contract? Uh, I I think I charged in real fast and I got a head over toes, you know. But I like I calmed down a little bit. I put some ground to pound on him. I, I knew, like, yeah, I knew that was an exciting knockout, you know, I think so, at least. And I was hoping, you know, I was hoping he did, and I'm, I'm ecstatic. You seem like you're on cloud nine right now. What's, uh, what's in store for tonight's celebration? Uh, honestly, I've been, like, craving in and out We got, at, at my house, uh, in Broadview Heights, we got, we got Swenson's, and it's phenomenal, but I need, like, I need a burger, you know? I might get some donuts. I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> Definitely going to drink some alcohol. I didn't really get hurt, you know? So we're going to get a little wild, you know? Uh, responsible, but, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Burgers, donuts, and alcohol. I love it. Congratulations and <laughs> welcome to so the much. UFC. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.